can hear destiny calling, calling out my name. Failure and dreams both are free, but both are free chains. I mean, if he didn't see it in me, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. But it's just hard work. You gotta stay at it. You can't stop. Never give up. It's an everyday thing, though. It's an everyday thing. It's like a full-time job. So many times. You know what, I'll tell you what, Fonzie, you know, I see your, I mean, watch your life, that's what I like about you, man, you're worth that gig. Like I said, you're out there every single freaking day running the Royals. you're out there, you know, you're dripping in sweat, you still have time to put on those awesome promos, brother, but you know what, you do, you put in the work, man, you know, these youngsters, you know, they, they don't have any idea, I don't think, you know, everybody watches it on TV, you see WWE, everybody flying, everything like that, you know what I mean, but you don't see the work that they put in behind the scenes, what it takes to stay in top typical because you know what I mean if you're not in top condition you can hurt your your fellow wrestlers you know what I mean and yourself pretty bad yes it, it's I mean if you don't know what you're doing you can't mess around you're gonna hurt yourself I mean this is this is for real it's, it's a real thing I mean uh, unfortunately I, I train with a lot of good people like I said Gino Rivera he's a great trainer um, he teaches and I mean, every student there at OTR, we all work hard and we all take care of each other. I mean, that's what, that's the first thing he teaches us is you take care of who you're in the ring with because we're not here to hurt each other. We're here to compete. We're not here to hurt each other because we want to go, we, we all want to go back the next day. Right. We all want to be in the ring the next week. We all want to get the next booking. We don't want to miss the booking. I mean, I don't want to be out because of injury. I never want to be out because of injury. I mean, because I, I would hate to disappoint my fans and I would hate to disappoint the promoters. That's the last thing I'd want to do. Right, you definitely don't want to take out one of your fellow competitors either, you know what I mean? You guys want to put on a, yeah, you want to put on a strong... Yeah, we, we, we want to put on a good show. I mean, um, we may bleed. Right. We get bruises. We definitely get bruises. But uh, I'm not I'm not there to hurt them. I'm here there to compete with them. Right. Just show them, you know, that, that, hey, this old man... I, you know, I, I'm, I'm an old ass Sasquatch. I, I lived under traders. I, you know, people run away from me because they say I look scary. They, they run because I stink. You know, but <laughs> I'll tell you, you know who doesn't run from you is my mama. My mama loves you, man. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Yeah, everybody's mother loves me. I don't know why the mamas love me. Uh, but you know what? Hey, I, I'm now now. Now when I ask a woman who's your favorite wrestler, they ain't saying the rock no more. They're saying Fonzie, Mother Loving LaFleur. Right, Fonzie. You know, I saw the shirts, man. The Fonzie <laughs> Mother loving LaFleur. We hopefully we can get those by your next event. So you're coming up, uh, let's see, we're coming up on Tap Out, man, in June. Yes. I'll tell you what. Yes, that's my next event. Um, that's my next for sure event. There's uh there's other there's a few other promotions I'm trying to trying to sneak my, my way onto the card. Right. Um, we'll see what happens. I can't say nothing right now, but uh, you never know where I might show up. You never know where I might show up because I'm willing to go anywhere and everywhere. You know what, Fonzie? Not only are you not only are you the mother's favorite wrestler, but I've been I've been following you a little bit. You are. <laughs> you are my mother's favorite cameraman, man. I've seen you. <laughs> i seen you working the camera, man. You know what I mean? You got them angles, man. You getting it? You got. You got to pay your dues. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm still. I'm, I'm still fresh in, in in this game, so you know, I got to pay my dues too. So you know, if I show up in the angle room for me on the card, I'll you know, I'll do what I got to do. That's awesome, uh, bro. But I'll, you know, I'll clean up. I'll help set up the ring. I'll run the cameras. Right. You know. You know. Hey, if I'm there, I'm, I'm there to do something. And, you know, 
So Beautiful. If I have to hold the camera for four hours, I'm holding the camera for four hours. I don't care. Right, that's another thing a lot of these youngsters don't understand. Getting those knocks in, you know what I mean? You're, you're hitting the road, man. You know what I mean? Uh, you're out there all the time. And that's part of it, though. You got to know. You got to understand the inner workings of the rings. You got to understand the, the angles. You got to understand the uh, the crowd, the seating, the, you know, every, the, the, everything. is so technical is wrestling. You know, people don't understand how, you know, technical it really is. And when you understand every aspect of your job, that makes you that much better of a competitor, a worker. You know what I mean? Your work ethic. Like I said, it never stops, Fonzie. You know, that's what we love about you, man. And, uh, you know, I mean, you know, these these kids, you know, they think, oh, yeah, I just get up here, I jump around, blah, 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 whatever, you know what I mean? But bottom line is, yeah, you need to know the technicalness of it because you got to know that tensile strength when you're hitting them ropes. You got to know, uh, you know what I mean, your, your timing. Boom, boom, getting off, getting off, getting off, getting off, right? You got to be able to take them lumps, as they say. So, you know, if there's something that you'd like to share with these kids, you know what I mean? Hey, you know, that it's, there's, there's more to it. Every, every ring is different, so I mean, Every promotion, every every ring feels different. You gotta go fill out fill out the rope. You gotta feel how you know how hard it is, and you know there's a lot there's a lot about it. You know maybe they might have padding on the floor, maybe they might not. You know, there's, right? There's a lot of things that can hurt you. There's a lot of things that can hurt you, and um, like like me, I wear a lot of padding. I wear a lot of padding. Um, you know, a lot of guys don't like to wear knee pads and elbow pads, but <laughs> I've, I've, I've hurt, hurt, my, hurt my knees and elbows a little too much, so I'm not going to take the risk. So, uh, like, I wear three knee pads. I wear my really? elbow pads. Yes, because, uh, I mean, I mean, you you get your standard pads and it just covers the front. So I, I wear three, so I put one on this side, one on this side, and one on the front. <laughs> right. So, yeah, you cover all the angles, man. You cover all the angles. Yeah, because you know, what I mean, because I've, I've fallen out of the ring and I get the side of my knee, and I'm like, oh, and I can't, I can't walk for a couple of days. <laughs> so you know, I, I make sure I got full coverage, you know, so all the way around, you know. You learn something, you learn something new every day. Like every time you hurt yourself, you it's a learning experience. Yeah, I mean, every time someone else hurts himself, you better learn from that too, so that way you don't go through it. Right. I mean, there's a there's a there's a lot to it. I mean, it doesn't matter how long you like. Like I'm still starting, but I've known like just throughout life, you're gonna learn something new every day. Like, it doesn't matter how old you get. I mean, but don't stop learning because once you stop learning and once you stop using what you know, then your brain's gonna stop and you're just gonna boom. You're gonna stay stagnant and nothing's gonna happen for you so always keep going always always have that spark that fire you want to want more because you know knowledge knowledge is his power and if you don't use it you're gonna lose it you know, I mean, a lot of people, you know, it's funny because they, you know, they see your character. You're actually well spoken and well, you know, you're very literate and everything like that. The people, you know, they see, oh, oh, he's the homeless dude. You know what I mean? That's obviously how we, how we push it. You know what I mean? The promotion is like, yeah, you know. Uh, you, know. Mind because you know what? I'm not going to lie. I've been homeless. I've, right? I've lived on the streets. I've, I've, I've had, you know, good and bad parts in my life. But, you know, that, that's, that's me inside. I'm savage. I'm, I'm raw, I just want to boom, I just want to go in there and tear things apart, but, you know, I got to be, I kind of got to hold back, you know, because that, that is <laughs> one of my problems in the ring is I have a hard time holding back and, but... <laughs> <laughs> right i tell you what you know a lot of these you know these these kids they you know they like again they see it they don't they don't really get the concept of it but i mean you know i mean that's the thing is is your persona so basically what they say is uh you know you you find what's inside you and then you amp it up you know what i mean like 500 freaking percent you go out you know and then you do it big but then again like you said you know using you got to be very mental a lot of people you know they think oh, this guy's a freaking idiot you know what i mean you know the stupid shit either. but bottom line is you know what i mean you got to be very mentally savvy you know what i mean you got to understand like you said you got to understand, you know, everything that's going on around you. Yeah, you want to be crazy and have a good time with the crowd and obviously work it up. But at the same time, you, you know what the hell's going on in there. You know what I mean? It's not like, you know, even the... You have to pay attention. <laughs> yeah. you, got, you got to pay attention 360 because, um, I mean, you got to know what your opponents are doing. You got to know, if, you know, maybe there's some crazy dude in the crowd that might swing at you. You know, right. someone might throw a water bottle. You know, someone <laughs> like, I mean, and of course you got your hecklers and then you got your fans and... I mean, there's a lot to pay. There's a lot you gotta you gotta stay focused, and you know, I mean, it, sometimes it ain't that easy. But you know, um, I find when I'm actually in a match, it's a lot easier. Some sometimes when what people think, because when you're in the moment, you're just you're just there. It's just 
right? It's just all it's just all go. It's just there's there ain't no stop. There ain't no stopping. Yeah, speaking of not stopping, brother, this uh, like I said, this event coming up in June in Canyon City. It's uh, it's for a good cause, am I correct? Now tell us a little bit about this uh, about this promotion, this cause that it's going towards to help these people get to some kind of championship or whatever. Yeah, it's a, a, a dance championship. I guess these girls are going to New York or something. Nice. You know, uh, hey, I'm all for that. I'm all for that. You mean know, lift these kids up and you know, give them something to do, uh, give them something to strive for. I mean, yeah, hopefully you make enough money so that way they, they, they ain't, they, they ain't got to pick up no slack. So that way they can, you know, it's all go for them too. I'll tell you what, man. Uh, you know, it's I, I'm looking at this card right now. Uh, so Delta Jr. versus Billy 5'2". <laughs> Okay, uh, Phoenix Kids, Spitfire Marcus. Uh, we got uh, B Mobile versus Savage Saint. TAG, uh, copyright TAG versus BOD for the RCW Tag Team Titles. And uh, of course, the main event. Now, Tag Team Titles, man. You're, now, Maury says you may be the father, man. We're talking about the bearded woman, man. You guys, uh, you guys tag teamed up together. That's a long story. Uh oh. You guys teamed up together. That was a long time ago. And, um, <laughs> I, I worked, worked on a side show, and there was a strong woman there, you know. Right. And, I mean, it was, it was like a short-term thing. It only lasted about a week. I mean, there's no, it's nothing for sure. I don't know. I mean, the time frame is kind of, kind of there. They, I, they I, kind I of match. Nothing for sure. He's got to match up. You guys were you guys were tagged you guys were tagged up together. Uh, the last promotion in Canyon City. You guys you guys what what happened with that man? I had money on you, man. I lost a lot. I'm almost homeless now because of you, man. I can't believe that you lost that. Oh. She just abandoned me. She just abandoned me. <laughs> oh, it's not my fault. It's not my fault. Strong lady. Just weird. The strong lady threw me off the truck here in New Mexico. Came to the state fair. Right, she got daddy. She got daddy abandonment issues. Obviously. So. <laughs> abandoned you back in the ring. I, mean, it's I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'll tell you what, man. But, um, I can't wait to see you guys. I mean, you guys are an awesome freaking tag team. You know what? Uh, Jimmy D seven one nine was telling us. I would like to see you and uh, and Gypsy tag up together. You know what I mean? In a mixed uh, in a mixed genre group. I think that would be badass, man. Oh, me and Gypsy. Gypsy's tough. Gypsy's tough. Uh, She's, she's a tough girl. She's a tough girl. I'd like to see you guys tag up together against another uh, male-female uh, group. I think that'd be an awesome freaking matchup. You know what I mean? The gypsy and the homeless man. It doesn't get much better than that, man. I'll tell you what. It, it, uh, a bearded, bearded woman is one thing, but you know what? You and the gypsy, man. You know what I mean? The, the I don't know what they call the man gypsy. I guess the gypser. I'm not sure what they call it. Gypsy but man. Gypsy man. The, the high priestess. Right. But you know what? Uh, she, she's like a little sister to me. Um, I, I don't know if I will let me be able to let anybody touch her, I'll kind of just beat them up probably. Right? It'd be a hell of a match, man. I think you guys would uh, go ahead and take it out. She's like a little sister to me. Heck yeah, bro. And, uh, yeah, I, I, well, it's I like have a, a hard time seeing people <laughs> hurt her, but she's tough. She's tough. Right? I train with her, and, and she, she gives me bruises. <laughs> nice. So tell us a little bit about uh, what you know. What what is your call on the main event, man? Jay Zilla versus Jason Dread. Now Jason Dread, man, he's a little pompous little sucker, man. I know Jason uh, Jason Gribble had to slap him up a little bit at the last event, I guess. Put him in his yeah, place. Uh, Jason Dread, I mean, um... he wanted his own trailer, man, and he didn't want you underneath the trailer or some crap. Like I'm not sure what happened, man, but it was. I, you know, I, I sleep under any trailer I want to sleep under. <laughs> Right. Most of the time, people don't even know. Right. <laughs> I mean, if you got, if you got, if you have a little dog and it goes missing, just probably under the trailer. Right. Probably, and your Wi-Fi is like really running slow. Something's wrong, man. You know. <laughs> if your video games, if your video games are, your, your video games are freezing up. You're really trying to play. Whatever you're playing, uh, I don't know, Fortnite or whatever. Right. And it's a like, so. Yeah, you better check your. There you go. Look under your trailer, man, because Fonzie Lafleur is underneath your trailer, still on your damn Wi-Fi, so he can do a live interview with KICH Radio, obviously, guys. And uh, you know, so hey, we. Yeah. I'm actually uh, at one of my friends' house. Right. I came to. Uh, I came. I came to get 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 my my B Mobile phone. Right. Yeah, I heard that. That's limited coverage. Oh, li the way that I have to come over here to use the Wi-Fi. <laughs> Very limited. Somebody I have to come over here to use somebody's Wi-Fi because of that limited coverage. Oh man, I, 
That, that's horrible. Shame on him, man. I'll be mobile gonna give you a free phone with limited coverage, man. Uh, you can't get the phone from here. I got the I got the phone from an unsatisfied customer. Said, here, you want this piece of junk? <laughs> right. I tell you what. Hey. So, unfortunately, unfortunately, I'm the kind of guy that has uh, that has to have a, a one phone for each app. <laughs> Each one got to work differently, especially if you got a whole trailer park full of Wi-Fi, right? I just get everybody's, everybody's junk phones that nobody wants, so it's like, I just run one app at a time. Hey, oh my god. Well, hey, as long as you got the tune-in radio app, man, that's the important thing, right? You got to make sure everybody got that damn thing. I got this one. Hopefully, hopefully this, this, this B-Mobile phone with limited service uh, will be able to have that app. Right, and I hate T-Mobile, but you know, uh, just you know, big yeah. No shout out to T. I hate T-Mobile, first of all. But uh, B-Mobile, I guess you know, he's pretty cool. But T-Mobile, I hate T-Mobile, guys. So don't, yeah, don't go to T-Mobile or whatever. Guy, as a person, he's pretty cool, but I mean, it's, 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 his, his service is garbage, man. Got me left out there in the middle of goddamn Kansas somewhere, holding on to it. Long story, but anyway, tell me something. Hey, tell me about. Your competitor, though, Bricks Porter in a tap out match, man. God, Bricks Porter, that sounds like something an old man does to the toilet <laughs> early in the morning. All right, he drops off Bricks for a Porter. Porter, I mean, I'm going to go Bricks Porter right now. Right. That's, like, that's the proper way to say it. Uh, what you would do, is do in the morning like, in England. Right. I'm going to go Bricks Porter. I must go. <laughs> is he, so is it Bree Porter? Is it Bricks Porter? I mean, tell me about this dude, man. You know, tap out, first of all. What? Okay, so is it is it uh, no holds barred, all out, balls to the wall action, uh, tap out? Do you got to tap out? Can he knock your ass out? I mean, how's it gonna? What's happening? Yeah, it's, 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 by, it's just by submission only. So um, hopefully this guy knows some moves because I've been studying my Ring of Honor. Really? And uh, yes, and I've been watching New Japan and stuff. And I've been studying a lot, some, some good submission guys. I've been playing a lot of Gresham. Really? So. Yes. So we're so we're gonna see some we're gonna see some new something new from the from the Sam Squatch then we're gonna see a little we'll see we'll see what I can do we'll see what I can do I've been training hard really uh, uh, hopefully I can put on a good show hopefully I win this one. I'll tell you what, tap out, good lord, man. So, okay, is this, I mean, tell me more about it, though, man. Is it, is it no holes barred anywhere in the ring? I mean, can we, are we, what do we, what can we expect from the Wild Sam Squatch, man? What can we expect in this match, man? What are we looking for as fans? Well, as, I'm gonna, I'm you know. I'm going to try my best to keep it in the ring, but if I have to take it outside of the ring just to, you know, soften him up a little bit. Right. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to soften him up a little bit any, any, way, I, any way I got to. Because um, I'm I'm in this to win it, right? So he's, he's got he's got a fight on his hands. So I hopefully he hopefully he's training hard too. Right? Yeah, man. Yeah. Next time he sees this old man, right? Uh, he better he better start running. I tell you what, Briggs. Uh, Bricks Porter, man, he better run. He better run pretty damn hard, cause I know you've been practicing to outrun your damn shadow, man. So you've been running your ass off. I see you sweating all, you pouring all over the damn place, and the and the rain out of freaking nowhere, right? There's not a thing I don't do. Yeah, I don't know what happened yesterday. <laughs> out of nowhere, it's just like it's, it's just like the old man spoke to me, and he's like, "No, you know, you got that fire, you got that fire." So we got like, this fire under control. And, I don't know what a cold, cold rain just came out of nowhere and it's like almost like snow. And I was like, okay, I'm going more, I'm going harder. All right. I came home and I did box jumps and then I, I did, I even did more box jumps and stuff today. I, I go till, till I can't move if I can, if I possibly can. Nice. And, I mean, the Brick Sporter's got a fight on his hands, man. I'll tell you what. Uh, got a fight. Got a fight. I, I don't know, man. So, you know, what are, what are, so what? As a competitor, then what is what is it that you're you're gonna try to avoid from Bricks, man? Yeah, I know you've been doing your tape on him, man. What are you what are you seeing? Are you seeing something that uh, that you got your eye on there, buddy? Probably a smell, cause he smells a little worse than I do. <laughs> I tell you what, he's dropping Bricks Porter all day long, man. I tell you what, he's in there spray todo, man. You better come out and do it big, man. You know what? You gotta bring your lights off. You know, we're gonna be there, man. You know, the KICH radio family's gonna be there. We're gonna be given the blow by blow color commentary at the table. Of course, you hey, I wanna see you out at the at the Spanish announce table. See if I don't we're gonna I'll teach him a lesson, man. You know, we're gonna do it big. All day, all night. Oh yeah, brother. And like I say, 
Rick Sporter, man, he's, he's not ready for this. You know what I mean? He's not ready for this. I mean, you can't, you can't be. How can you be ready for this? I don't know if he has. I've been, I've been bathing, but I don't know if he has. <laughs> so, I mean, I, mean, I, don't, I wouldn't even bathe if I were you, honestly. Uh, let me ask you something, though. So, okay, you, you got to tap out. What if he is physically unable to tap out because of the epicness of the Sam Squatch? What if you put him into a submission move that's so vicious and so extreme that Brick Sporter has no chance but to pass out? Okay, is it tap out or pass out? or what, What's going to happen, man? Okay, can, what are we going to do? If I can make him pass out, if I can make him pass out, if that's if that's the only option, I mean, I'll go that far. All right. The tap out or pass out, man. That's all there is to it. Either tap out or pass out, brother. You're going down one way or another, Bricks. We've got our money on this man right here. Mercy, right here. No mercy. Right. We've got our money on this man right here, guys. I don't know what y'all think is going to happen. We've got our money on this man right here, guys. And uh, again, the KICH radio family is going to be there. Jimmy D719 is going to be there. Jay Sizzle for Rizzle. You already Nizzle is going to be there. I'm going to do this. For the people, and uh, and like I say, we go, we gonna be there, man. We are gonna make it hot. The, you know, the people of Canyon City, they are not ready for the epic awesomeness of uh, RCW Championship Wrestling in Canyon City, Colorado. Matter of fact, we're gonna be a staple of the RCW family. So anytime you see RCW family, you're gonna see Chaos Eight Radio. We're gonna be there. And matter of fact, anytime that the Sam Squatch wants to bring out Chaos Eight Radio, you let us know, man. We we follow you, man. We'll be there. We're gonna support you 100. 100%, trying to get the shirt. And a few other promotions up there pretty soon, so you never know. Heck yeah. Show up. I got to get me a new t-shirt. I got this one. <laughs> These are our sponsors from New Mexico, so yeah, shout out to Panocha Liquors. Right on. They're great. <laughs> in new mexico but i'll tell you what sam squatch man uh you know i know that we're keeping you from your from your you know from your uh your exercise and your strength training and all that sort of thing like i say is there anything you want to share with the people um you know what i mean i'm gonna give you the opportunity to you know give them whatever you want man yeah just make sure to go out and support rcw this weekend if you haven't got your ticket yet go get them and don't forget the other show going on next weekend csw um, out of uh, Colorado Springs. Don't forget that show's going on too. Um, support your local independent wrestling. Don't forget that. Keep us going because you ain't going to have your big superstars if you ain't got us little independents. So remember that.